Welcome to Bible Stories with Activities. Today's Gospel reading comes from the Gospel according to Mark. Jesus departed from there and came to his native place, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished. They said, Where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom has been given him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place, and among his own kin, and in his own house. So he was not able to perform any mighty deed there, apart from curing a few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. In today's Gospel reading, we hear Jesus telling his disciples that a prophet is not without honor except in his native land, and that he was surprised at their lack of faith. So today, let's think about how we can keep our faith. How can we not lack faith? The craft that we are going to make today is faith shields. Faith, if we just have faith, that's all we need. And faith is what gives us our strength. If we have faith in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and our faith is something that we should nourish, that we should help grow, and that we definitely should protect. And our faith shield is going to help us to remember that. The materials you will need for today's craft are the templates attached to this video from the website craftingthewordofgod.com, markers, and scissors. Once you've printed off your templates, choose the one that you would like to use for your shield. On your shield, draw the cross, write the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, write faith, and draw other symbols of your Catholic faith to help remind you that your faith is your shield. Once you are finished decorating your faith shield, take your scissors and cut it out. Now you have your completed faith shield. Hang it on your bedroom door, hang it somewhere where you will see it and be reminded that your faith is something that will continue to make you strong and make you a disciple of Christ. Your faith is one of your strongest attributes, having faith in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and that your faith must be guarded and that your faith must be nourished. Um, so keep praying and keep growing in your faith. Thank you for joining me and I hope you and your family have a truly blessed week.